Hello. Today I'm going to spend a few minutes talking to you about the notification bar which appears at the top of the uh, Android handset. So I'm just going to zoom in for you to give you a better picture of what's going on. Okay. So the notification bar appears at the top here um, along with the uh, the time, the state of the battery charge, the signal strength, whether you're on Wi-Fi or 3G, and then the rest of the bar is taken up with any notification icons that uh, it may want to flag to you. Um, I've got three icons on there at the moment. Um, the leftmost one is uh, Task Killer, which a few people have asked me about, um, and it just stays up there, and I'll show you how that works in a few moments. The icon to the right of it is the missed call icon, so uh, if any call comes in you can actually see, it doesn't take up all your screen, just hides away nice and neatly. The icon to the right of that, so that's the third icon from the left, is actually uh, just uh, posted there by Twidroid or Twitdroid, which is my Twitter client that I use. And at the moment it's telling me I've got one message uh, or one Twitter uh, that I've not tweet that I've not read. Um, I'm going to actually show you the, uh, the thing in action though. I'm going to send myself a, t uh, a text message from another handset and you should see um, a fourth uh, notification turn up. So I'm just going to send the message now. It's gone. And as you can see now, we had a little scroll, told me a message had come in from myself, and there's a fourth icon on the uh, on the right. Okay, so how, how do we use these? Well, quite simply, if you've never used Android before, uh, you just press and hold the bar, it changes slightly, and you just drag it down. As you do, you can see all the notifications are there. So what we'll do, we'll work our way through these. Okay, The first one's Task Killer at the bottom. And what I'm, going to, I'm just going to press that and that'll take me into the Task Killer app itself. And straight away it's taken me into there. And we can see that there are a number of tasks open that uh, uh, Task Killer will allow me to kill if I, if I want to. Okay, I'm not going to kill any of those apps. I'm just going to go back to the home page. Now, what you'll notice is that the icons have rearranged themselves. So the task killer is now on the extreme right, which is suggesting to me that the order in which these um, notifications arrived is actually left to right. Now you can see that the next one notification I haven't serviced yet is the uh, missed calls. So again, same thing, we'll go and have a look and see what that's all about. So we can see there's a missed call, again reading from the bottom up. I'll just press that, that takes me into the telephone application. And I can choose then whether to call the person back or I can see what other, you know, it just takes me basically to my call log. And I can choose what to do there. Okay, I'll just press the home button, which will take me back. And again, they've rearranged themselves. Actually, the call one's gone away. Uh, so I've got a tweet I haven't read yet. So again, just press, drag it down, press the button, and it'll take me into that. So I've actually got a direct message which is coming to me. Uh, and that should display shortly. But you actually can see that I'm actually in Twidroid anyway. Okay. And finally, we can see we had a text message, so we can see what that's all about. And there it is. Oh, actually, what I need to do, I need to just scroll back a little bit for you. And uh, you can then see there's the text message that came in. Okay, so that's been a short video on the notification bar and how it works. I hope you found that useful. And uh, if you've got any questions, just drop me a line on, uh, on the YouTube uh, replies page, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thank you for watching.